Today on non-sponsored bunk ass mechanic, I'm going to replace the purge solenoid for my EVAP system. Uh, it turns out the 2001 and 2002 Camaros don't have an EGR. My car has been throwing a code and it's been rough idling. So I'm hoping it's this part right here. There's the part number. I'm going with the AC Delco because I want to keep all the parts compatible. And it's going to be this little solenoid. It goes right on top of the uh, head over here next to the manifold. Where's this thing going? Get over here. Yeah. Here's where the purge solenoid sits. So we're going to unclip that, uh, the wire harness and everything. I'll take that right on out of there. Got this uh, strut tower bar in the way, but that should not be a problem. All right, first thing we're going to do disconnect the wire harness He's right back here take that out just kind of move it out of the way all right next thing you got to do you gotta disconnect this line here so you're just going to push down on that clamp and it should just pull right off or at least it should sometimes it's up there all right pull that line out now we're going to work on this one next what you're going to want to do here is there's this bracket right there a bracket slot rather and there's a bracket down there and you're going to want to take a screwdriver and you're just going to want to slide it right in so be able to pop that out just like so and then you'll have access to this hose try to get this thing out it's kind of a pain you gotta squeeze these little rings together. Pull that right out. And then we're gonna put in the new one. Right here. And I'm hoping this fix it. If this doesn't fix it, then my other idea that it would be the uh, purge canister, which is up underneath the gas, or on top of the gas tank, and you'd have to drop the gas tank out, which that's gonna suck if that's the case. Let's go ahead and put this back in. All right, so you got the wire harness. Slide this back in. It's a little bracket that's underneath this wire harness. Harness is in the way, so it's kind of a pain. It's not helping that this bracket's moving around. Might be easier if I uh, disconnected this wire harness, but that clip is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Let's try this. See if I can get this whole bracket out. Slide this out and then. Okay. This is the bracket right here. Slides on like so. Doesn't clip very well. Maybe just push that metal piece back in. Yeah, there we go. 
now we're cooking. Slide this back in. Make sure it's nice and tight there, it doesn't come back out. And we're just going to reconnect the wire harness here. There's a lot in the way to deal with, so just be careful. Try not to break any wires or anything like that. It's, you don't want to cause more problems when you're just trying to fix something simple. saw that was kind of a doozy to get in there and we just reconnect these hoses just like so clips in mind this one you know what I'm thinking maybe I should have uh, put this one at first because now this wire harness is in the way so I'm just gonna have to try to undo that one I'm just gonna pull this all out again. So, learn from this. Okay, slip this back out. Put this hose back on this side. Careful not to pull it out too far. You don't want to. All right, here's the part that's all connected. So that's the clip. You're just gonna push it down. Um, there's two sides to it. You see, there's a flat side and a more rounded side which is the more rounded side here. So take a screwdriver and just push straight down. You see how it's moving? Just push it down as far as you can, then you'll be able to slip that right out. And you can probably do it with your finger, but more leverage with a uh, screwdriver. And then this piece here, kind of a bear. See, it's got that notch. It's got a notch on the other side, so you have to squeeze them together to be able to pull this off. And this is that wire harness. And you got that bracket, little brace down here. That slides right into the top of the manifold or the side of the manifold there. And that's it. Oil part, new part. That's how you uh, switch out the purge valve solenoid for your EVAP system. And like I said, the uh, 01 02 Camaros actually don't have an EGR valve. I went crazy trying to look for it, thinking maybe that's what was clogged up and throwing the codes. So I'm going to take this car down to the uh, nearest auto parts store have them clear out the codes and hope nothing comes back on and hope the car runs smooth. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Leave a comment. And I hope you learned something today. While working on my car, this lizard comes up to me. I pour some water. And she started drinking. This one has like minimal fear. Yeah. Well, I gotta get back to working on my car now. Hope you enjoyed the water.